Hello, everybody. What is up? Cobra Axis and Allies here, bringing to you another This Week in Wargaming. It's been a while. There hasn't been a ton of news, but now in the past couple of weeks, there's a lot to show you guys. So let's get right into the news for this week. So first up, HBG's long-anticipated Global War 1914 game has recently been pushed back from release in the late summer of 2021 into the winter or even early um, early spring of 2022. Now, uh, this doesn't come as a huge surprise, and uh, Doug from Historical Board Gaming has had a, a quick video that he put out on the Historical Board Gaming YouTube channel where he basically went into how you need to you know play test these games and make these games the best they can be before release date, which is much admired by the community. And, you know, we may not get to play it on time, as stated, but just a few months off can make a ton of difference when it comes to play testing and making everything just perfect for us to play it. So, that is the first thing in the news. Next in the news is HBG's Midway game and its release date. Now, it is still unknown, and this game has been being teased for its release sometime in April for the past month now. Now, even though it's been this week and that week and that week and this week, Doug from Historical Board Gaming has also confirmed that this game is pretty much ready to ship, so we can definitely see this thing coming out by the end of April, which might be next week, or heck, I would say by the end of May, this game has to come out. Um, it's been talked about for a really long time now, and we've seen pictures of it, and it's really far into its development cycle, with pieces being made and everything. So we'll definitely be seeing this coming out in the sometime in the near future, and expect a review from me. So I hope to see what they do with that game and how successful it will be. The last news coming from HBG this week was news on their new 2025 game. Now, I've covered this before in the past, and again, from the historical board gaming video that came out a, a while ago, or this week, Doug from Historical Board Gaming has also confirmed that this game is being produced right now. It is just a matter of time before it is in sufficient quantities for them to start selling it on historicalboardgaming.com. And this has been a game that I've been anticipating for a really long time. It looks extremely fun, extremely different. I don't think this has really been tried in an Axis and Allies game, like a full-on modern warfare game, especially on a global scale. So I can't wait to see all the cool units that will come with this game, the cool features, and the quick gameplay that's been advertised. It's definitely going to be a game-changer when it comes to the breaking the mold of World War II wargaming. So, getting on with the news, we're just going to get into a few little coverings of people from the Facebook page, Axis and Allies. So, first up, we have Zachary Fielding with his cool custom Civil War map that he's made with his military friends. Now, they're on uh, service right now, so basically what he's done is basically with his his friends and everything drawn up this awesome map of the US Civil War and using pieces or spare parts from his helicopters and everything they've been able to play this really cool looking Axis and Allies inspired Civil War game which I think is just awesome it really kind of goes to show that you can play this game with like the bare bones where they've got these bolts and everything and spare washers that they're using for units it's just a really awesome looking cool game that even though it's kind of a hodgepodge mess of pieces, could actually be almost a cool experience in itself to play, other than a like fully molded Axis and Allies style game. And lastly for this week, we have Robert Otto's awesome looking European hexagonal style Axis and Allies map. Now, he's been showing this off for a while now, and it's still kind of unclear as to if he'll put this up for a kind of computer tabletop simulator type game or if you can even print this out, because I'm definitely considering printing it out and trying it out, maybe play testing it on my channel, because it definitely looks really awesome. I've never really played a hexagonal um, style board game, and especially something as huge and in-depth in as this one. So this is definitely a really cool and different approach to the normal Axis and Allies type games that we've been seeing, and I definitely can't wait to see what he does with this in the future. But other than that, that concludes This Week in Wargaming, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a while since I've made one, and considering how this one does, we will try to see if I can get one of these out per week like in the past. See you again. Cobra, out.